welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna do a craft i'm gonna make another decoed in phone case my phone case has already been um filed with i just used a basic uh grit file and so i scratched the case and wiped it down with alcohol to get the dust off so should have no dust left and today I'm going to remember the pop socket. <laughs> um, most people put the pop sockets on last. I'm putting it on first today. Because I forget. And I'll work around it. So I left the foam in it. I see a lot of people leave the foam in it sometimes. I saw one creator, she leaves the foam in it while she decorates or after she decorates while it dries. Push this up. Looks a little crooked, but that's okay. Or it won't really matter too much when I'm holding it. Okay. So I got cream pink and blue cream it looks a little lighter on camera but i got a baby blue and a baby pink um from a etsy seller called wing charms they came with tips and an extra bag wrapped around um each cream glue so i'm just using the bag that was wrapped around them i took frosting bags from work but they are really large i really didn't want to have to use them unless i really needed them unless i was doing a larger project today but oops um since it, this is just the cell phone case i'm just using the smaller bags today and the frosting tips that came with um the cream glue the decoding cream i did buy disposable plastic tips that you can throw away or you can wash out and use. The only problem is these tips are a little tiny. I'm trying to look for something with a wider opening. Like, yeah, like this one. See how tiny it is? I want a bigger puff on my case. Even this one is a little bit wider. So I'm gonna just use the ones that came with my kit. Um, I'm gonna be alternating pink and blue. Uh, I don't know if I wanted to do stripes or not. You know, one pink, one blue all the way down, or if I wanted to alternate. I, I liked how the alternating came out the last time. It's just the puffs weren't big enough. Um, this is my layout um, from top to bottom. I'm doing the twin little stars and cinnamon roll on my phone case today and with the wing charm is it wing charms wing charms uh cream glues she also sent in a bag of these little bubbles these little beads and these pearl charms so i'm going to use some of these also on my um case today and maybe some rhinestones we're gonna see how it goes so I also did, I'm noticing a lot of Decodin artists use, let me just pull out a random one, puffy paint, puffy paint, I, I think you call it, fabric paint, um, around the edges to make drips. I haven't decided if I'm going to try that or not today. Um, I might towards the end. I don't know how well it's going to stick because I do have a rubber side. It wasn't hard, so I couldn't scratch the sides. So we will see how that goes. Hopefully today piping goes a little bit easier um, since these are frosting bags <laughs> um, versus the tubes that I used from Amazon last time. Those were a little difficult. So... See, I like big puffs like that. I came out better. This puff is probably going to come out a little bit smaller because of the tip is but not too bad. Okay. 
I'm getting deco all over everything. I'm trying to fill in the gaps because last time I had a lot, a lot of gaps, a lot of holes because the tip was so small and I don't want little gaps in between. in place but I'm just gonna work around it. it doesn't have to be perfect you guys see how I'm already getting gaps I'm gonna fill that in a little bit with deco in doesn't have to look perfect and I'm just gonna work around that circle uh, next would be blue because there's pink right here. I think my next project's gonna be a case for my laptop. Yeah, I found cases on Amazon for. 15 to 20 dollars I just need to double check to make sure it's the right one because I have a an HP Chromebook 360 and I know they make different models so I have to make sure I have the right model or it won't fit This is a little bit, I'm gonna put a little extra pink right there. So I'm working around. I have to say guys, um, considering this, this is my first time doing these phone cases, um, I usually pick up crafts pretty well. Um, I like, I like doing this. This is a, a unique craft. This is really, really, like, fun and cute. Yeah. I've been really enjoying Deco Day. Sorry if you hear any doors in the background. I have people in and out of my house today. It's just don't want to leave this end cap. Okay, not too much of a devastation. Okay, it's okay. So I'm done piping. Last time I did my case, I piped around here, which didn't come out too bad. I am debating whether I want to do the drips around there or if I want to pipe around there. I kind of like it piped around there. So I don't know. I think the drips might look cute. I'm afraid that it might come off the drips so we're gonna just pipe a little bit 
around the sides. Do a little border. I'm not really concerned about, about a camera being blocked because the only time I really use my camera most of the time, um, I am doing YouTube. Let me get these little tweezers out. Something in my puff. Yikes. Alright. And with pink. Yeah, I like it with the little board around top. I think it's really cute. Okay. And I'm also going to pipe a little bit in here. I have enough cream glue left. Let's see. little roses Let me adjust the camera a little higher I'm going to be putting something in the middle so I'm not concerned about the middle. I'm going to put a little bit of filling over here. Why did you do all the rose work if you're going to just fill it in? I know. I'm just winging it, you guys. something in the middle just for the little piece to stick okay okay now a little clamshell in the middle so I did the pink and blue theme mainly for the twin little stars because they're pink and blue these look kind of knockoffy um, I got these from eBay, so, but they're still really cute. I'll, you know, I'll take it. Sometimes it's really hard. You got to really look to find the charms you, you, you like. There's some good charms out there. There's some really good charms out there. And sometimes the really good charms are super expensive. And sometimes you can find some, um, cheap charms that look good out there. It depends. It depends on how well you look. I'm going to put him here. Is Cinnamon Roll Girl a Cinnamon Roll Boy? I don't know. I always see him wearing bows and stuff, so let me know if Cinnamon Roll is a girl or a boy. I don't, I don't know. I never knew if Cinnamon Roll is a girl or a boy. Super cute, though. <laughs> I love Cinnamon Roll. Okay. I'm going to put this one here. Now, a lot of, um, I, I've noticed with people who do decoding cases, they take the cream glue before they put a charm on, and then they put a glob, and then put the charm on to lift them up, to put them on an angle. I don't want these on angle. I want them flush. I want them flat. I don't want these sticking up. Um, I already have a pop socket sticking up. That's, that's enough for me. Um... And, you know, sometimes when I do these 3D big charms, these stick up enough. Um, and that's enough 3D for me. But these little flat pieces, since these are flat backs, I really don't want them sticking up. See, like this, this, this comes out pretty far from the case. And you don't need a glob of glue. This took about four days to dry this case. And I stuck her without a glob of glue on, and she's on here pretty well. And this one's a flat back. And I just stuck her on there without the glob of glue, 
and these charms are on here pretty damn well they haven't budged I mean I've had my phone case on for the past two days um, you know rocking it on my phone um, and it's been it's been pretty good it I haven't had any problems Let's add some little charms. Since it's twin little stars, we're gonna add some stars and moons. We have a moon over there. Let's add a moon over here. I'm so glad um they sent me this this free gift. Um these are really come in handy. I really don't care that these colors are they're not all pink and blue you know what and let's add a couple hearts I like rando stuff on here I, I like um if you know me if you've watched my channel since the beginning which I haven't been on YouTube that long I, I like I like clutter. I like a lot of crap on my nails. I like junk nails. There you go. <laughs> I didn't know how else to put it. I like I like a lot of clutter on stuff. So here we have these bubbles. I heard people call them bubbles. I'm gonna call them bubbles because they look like bubbles. They're really cute. I'm gonna put some of these on here. And they have some pink little bubbles I'm gonna throw some of these on cover up any gaps that I see there's a hole there's a blue one these are so, I'm gonna love this case so damn much and probably as soon as it dries switch and work, rock this one <laughs> I'm telling you guys this is like my newfound obsession these making these cases I I love these these are so cute and they're once you get the hang of it they are just they're so easy to make they're really not that difficult to do you don't have to be a cake decorator in order how to figure out how to pipe onto a foam. They're just little puffs. It's not that difficult. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You could practice on paper before you um, even put it on the phone case if you're not nervous, hon. You really don't have to worry so much about it. Just make sure um, when you buy your phone case, it has a hard back, not the rubber back, um, because the rubber back can't be scratched. And you, the, the decoding cream will not stick. You could probably put the decoding cream on it, but it will probably peel off after a while from what I've heard. Okay, so I put a bunch of bubbles. I'm bubbled up here. I can't help myself. I'm putting a bunch of bubbles. I'm just using whatever came in this little freebie kit that they sent me. Just filling it up. It's really, really cute. And I think I'm gonna add some rhinestones because I want a little glitz. Actually, let's put a little bubble, couple bubbles up on the pop socket. Because why not? And this pink one. And how about some rhinestones, you guys? out of the way 
Girl, I can keep going all night with decorating in this case. I will junk it up if I don't, I don't cut myself off. Now, what rhinestones do I want to use? Do I want to use these clear ones? Do I want to use these iridescent ones? Do I want to use pink and blue? I don't know. Sometimes this is why I wish I did lives because I could get the opinions of others, but um, I might just go with these clear rhinestones because I think they'll sparkle more. Yeah. Super pretty. Those definitely sparkle way more. I get so impatient waiting for these to dry. Four days. It took about four days for my last case to fully dry. I want to say it was dry in three, but when I went to go touch it, it was still a little yeah. too squishy for my liking. So I gave it another day. And the fourth day did the trick. I've been thinking about getting into um, my other craft. Um, probably not on YouTube. I'm not going to do YouTube videos on it because it's just, it's a tedious craft. But, um, last year, before the new year, I got into diamond painting. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of diamond painting. It's pretty much taking a tool like this and little things called drills that look just like this in colors. And you're going off of a canvas that is it's like color by numbers but with diamonds and it's it's just very you, you have to have some patience I, I have to say you have to have a lot of patience to diamond paint I've completed um, two diamond paintings since I've started that project um, I love it. it it is just very 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 tedious thing to do I tend to lean towards crafts that I can get done in a sitting um, that I can see finished in one night stick stick yeah geez um, I don't like having to walk away from a craft and come back another day and work on it again and that's a diamond painting and unless you have that type of free time to be spending on it which I don't <laughs> um it's just very it's just very tedious I I love it I have my whole setup and my light box and everything for it I I absolutely love it but um it could be very, very tedious. So, but I have been thinking about it. I have my my whole craft box drawer full of diamond painting supplies. I, you know, when I first got obsessed with it, I I bought a bunch of diamond paintings to do. Now I'm stocked up with diamond paintings in my drawer. I have a whole diamond painting drawer waiting to be done this is what happens with me in crafts you guys i get obsessed with a new craft i buy them i buy the supplies like crazy and i start obsessively doing the craft and then i get sick of it or i get bored with it and then i have all these supplies and all these projects waiting to be done and then I don't do them for the next year or two. And then they just sit there and get dusty. So it's been sitting there for the past couple months. Waiting. My projects have been waiting to be done. And I've just been sitting there ignoring them. And sometimes I get bored and I sit on the internet all damn night, you guys. Even after doing all my YouTube stuff that I need to do for the night. And 
I probably should be working on my art projects and completing them because my goal with the diamond paintings was uh, I have a wall behind my bed and I wanted to fill up the entire wall full of Disney diamond paintings. Yeah, I have a, um, what do you call it? Those sticky wallpapers up and I'm sick of looking at it and I want to take it down and add all diamond paintings up, just all framed diamond paintings. That's what I want to do. And I was so stoked about it and that's what I wanted to do and... I was all gung-ho about it and I started diamond paintings and then I found a new craft and then before you know it I stopped doing the diamond paintings and they got pushed aside. I think I'm almost done adding uh, rhinestones. I'm just filling this up you guys. I don't like to see empty spaces. I like glitz. This is so cute. This is even cuter than my first one. I love my first case, but this one I'm in love with because I went in with a plan this time. This is adorable. I can't wait to do a laptop case, which is way bigger than a cell phone. So, I'm just looking for any gaps, any spaces that may need a diamond, but I think this is pretty filled up in an even keel. Has all the bubbles I can put. This is really pretty. I love it, you guys. It's really, really pretty. This is one of my diamonds. I'm glad I bought a re-up from Shein of these diamonds, because I went through the last box pretty quick. Um... So, next question is, do, and see, I'm already touching this and it's already getting, um, spongy. So, I believe it's already starting to set. I could tell when I was putting the diamonds in, it was already starting to set. Do I want to put little drips? Do I want to do something different? What colors did I get? These are kind of neonish. I could put white drips. I think the pink is too pink and the blue is, is too dark blue. This is too much. Maybe white drips. If I do this wrong guys and I screw this up, I'm gonna be devastated. <laughs> just trying to figure out see most people have the drips done I'm not gonna do the drips by where the cord goes at all I'm not even gonna try that um, is there a test piece of paper I can test this on just so I can know what I'm working with here okay this is pretty thick you guys I'm just hoping this paint doesn't peel off because I didn't sand the sides because I couldn't any um, holes. I think all my holes are on one side. So here comes one. Just avoid it. Another the corner. 
These little paint bottles are a little small. I feel like I'm gonna run out of them really, really quick if I use the same color over and over again. Okay, so I avoided all the volume holes and I should even attempt this and then do over here. Yeah, guys, I'm not even going to screw with the bottom. No one's going to really look at the bottom, but. Really cute with the drips. Okay, so I am officially I'm done. <laughs> I'm done messing with it. I think it came out super cute. I got this uh, fabric paint, puffy paint. I think for eight ninety nine, nine bucks for the set on Amazon. So if you are interested in doing a phone case yourself and you are interested in doing the drips and you want to do use puffy paint to do your drips um you can get a box of colors like this from amazon for fairly at affordable price not not too bad i didn't think $8.99 was that bad um pretty good price i'm pretty much out of cream i don't know if it's even worth saving the little tidbit i might try to there's some pink left i, I try to save every last drop I have because yeah you know these were $4.99 a bag for a hundred grams which you know this is the size of the bag for a hundred grams there are not hundred grams you, you, you think by hearing hundred grams it's gonna be big it's really not that big you don't get a lot I think a hundred grams too 100 gram bags will do a cell phone case which as you see did my entire cell phone case in the back and a pop socket so it did do enough but to do um a tablet or a laptop case anything bigger um a nintendo switch case Anything bigger than a cell phone or a bigger cell phone than what I have, which is, I have a Galaxy um, A13 5G. I think anything bigger, because I know some cell phones are pretty colossal, I would say buy more bags, um, most definitely, because these 100 gram bags, which they don't, I haven't seen them come any bigger than 100 grams. I've seen 70 grams, 90 grams, 50 gram bags um i got these for 4.99 i believe for 100 gram bags a piece and i paid five dollars for shipping from um wing charms and i think they were the best bet because they had many many colors they had the whole rainbow including black and white also um on their website if you go on their page they do have glitter jellies they do have jelly colors they do have um, other options. They do have these type of bottles, like I use for the puffy paint, um, liquid cream colors. So I guess they have the Decodin cream in liquid form so you could do the drips on your phone. Um, so they have other options to do phone cases. You can get everything you need for your phone case. Uh, I don't remember if they had charms or not, but it's cream, 
cream glue wise, you can get everything you need from Wing Charms on Etsy for a fair price and $5 for shipping was not bad at all considering that it was in to my doorstep within, I want to say four maybe five days less than five days they were great with shipping they packaged really well they sent me a couple freebies and they're really really quick um it's the quickest i shipping i've ever gotten off at off at etsy i highly highly suggest them if you ever want to get into making a decoding cell phone case for yourself um because these are pretty pricey if you want to have one made um from a Decoden artist off Etsy, they run $50, $60 a pop to have a custom made one done. Um, they do really great jobs. I'm not knocking them if you want to shell out the money, but I mean, $4 a bag, $8.99 for puffy paint, and maybe $10 for a bag of charms, and maybe go to Shein and get your rhinestones. And maybe you can find these little bubble pearls off Shein. I mean, for under 50 bucks or so, you can buy your own decoding supplies and make your own phone case at home and do it how you like. You know, I'm just saying. Sometimes it's cheaper to do your own crafts at home. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm just not willing. I'm a crafty person. I'm not willing to spend 60 bucks on a phone case, a custom phone case. When I am crafty myself, I might as well do it myself. So, and I have fun doing it. I, I love doing it. This is, it just takes away from my stress and anxiety at home. I, I love doing, I, I love doing arts and crafts. Um, it's just the best, best stress reliever for me. I don't know about you guys. And nails also does that for me. I, well, that's why I do my nails so much. Um, it's a big stress reliever. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will be doing more decoding cases. I am adding it to my channel as a um, on the playlist as a crafting playlist. Um, if you want to just stick to watching nail videos, go ahead. But I, this is something that I am starting to become passionate about is um, new crafts. So um, you will see a playlist on my channel um, with decoding cases and laptop cases and and just little mirrors and stuff that I can craft. So just um, look out for those videos if you are interested. And thank you for joining me today. And have a great day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next video.